Hey boogies and guys, Luna. So today I'd like to talk a little bit more about the thing with you'll find love when you aren't looking. And the reason why I'd like to talk more about that today is because I spoke a little bit about this in my last video. That My last video was called I gave up dating or something like that. And in that video I kind of told you guys that in May I deleted Tinder on my phone. And it was a month where I was feeling very frustrated with dating and everything that comes with it. But there are some things that you guys misunderstood and also there were a lot of comments that I felt it would be nice to just take up here and talk a little bit about because is it really true that you'll find someone when you don't look for it and when you do nothing to find someone. The thing is, for those of you who aren't watching my videos every time that I upload something, I have been single for one and a half years, closer to one year, closer to two years now. And um, before then I were in a relationship for five years. I'm 24, by the way, in case you're curious. And the past year I've been dating. I have been dating, I think, 15 guys. Maybe. I think I've been on like more. And maybe I've been on like 17 first dates. And as mentioned in my previous video, many of those dates have been pretty disappointing. Not like... I haven't met anyone who's been like very uncomfortable or that I just really didn't like. Um, everyone has been pretty polite and kind and sweet and lovely to hang out with. But there has been missing a uh, physical attraction chemistry, whatever you want to call it, something has been missing. And that is what I got a little bit frustrated about last month, that I think it's so tough for me to find that thing. And then a bunch of you were commenting that the problem is that I shouldn't be looking, I shouldn't be dating, I should just live my life, live my life and then the right person will one day just knock my door or come along in some way or another. Hey boo, you're not gonna come in here right now, I'm filming. I have like cables and stuff on the floor. And also many of you were commenting that I was way too focused on finding someone, which is not true. I have been alone for one and a half years, closer to two years now, but I'm completely okay on my own. I feel really good. The thing is that I wouldn't mind if I met someone. Um, I would be totally open if I found someone that I really liked, but it's not like it's something that I think about every day and that I wake up and think I need a boyfriend or go to bed and think I need a boyfriend and also as I said to you guys in my last video it's not like I want someone that I can take with me home to my family it's just that I want to feel those butterflies I want to feel that flirtous time and um, where you just meet and stuff where you like get to know a new person that you have this thing with but it's not that it's something that I think about every day and every moment of my life and that it's something I'm really like seriously focused on and that's just really important for me to say that that's a misunderstanding if that's what you got from the, the last video. So let's get back to the main purpose of this video. You say that you shouldn't look for love and then you'll find it. Let's think about that for a second. Let's just say in my case as an example. If I was not using dating apps, I should have just used Tinder. If I weren't using Tinder, where would I meet someone? So let's just look at it. I work from home for most of the time. And the only job I have where I'm not at home is in a second-hand boutique here in Ulense, where most of the people who come, like the customers, they are grown-up adults and also most of them are women. Um, it's not really a place, I think, where I would meet someone. Then the next thing is that people always say you're never going to meet someone when you're out clubbing because that's the wrong way to meet people. Then we can cross that off the list as well. So when or where would I really meet someone if I was just like, I'm going to meet someone at some point? Because let's also look at the fact that the society has completely changed. Now I can't speak for every single country in the world, of course, every single city or place. But here in Denmark, people do not walk up and talk to a stranger. If you are out clubbing and you see someone that you find interesting, you're not gonna walk up there 
and introduce yourself and be like, I think you're really, really cute. It rarely happens. If it happens, it does sometimes, but it's often some very outgoing, I don't know, very annoying men that aren't really interested in getting to know you but interested in something very particular let's just say that so it's not something that people do we have become so shy and so nervous to approach each other that when we see someone that we find interesting we will hope for them to pop up on our tinder profile so that we can very very quiet and Without feeling that we're gonna lose anything, we can like, in the weird Tinder way, say I'm interested by swiping right. So it's really hard, like the thing that you say with you shouldn't look and you'll find love, it's like where would you really find love and if you're not looking for it, then how do you expect for things to just happen, fall down into your lap? Um, we all have stories, like yes, I have friends that have met in real life when they have been studying or met someone at a party or something. We all have those stories, but I also have stories with people who've met on Tinder, who've met online on um, dating sites. So it's like, it could happen like one way or the other for me. It's not like we can say that any of them is like impossible. It could both happen. But I just, I have found that weird, like saying that, and I've spoken to my one of my very best friends about it, that the thing with not looking for love and you'll find it, it's like it's like saying that you'll become rich from sitting at home doing nothing, it's like saying that you'll become really good at playing an instrument from not practicing. It's so weird to say that things are gonna happen if you do nothing to make it happen. I think that's weird, weird as, and also when it comes to like finding someone that you are feeling this chemistry with. So I believe in keeping all doors open, everything is possible, nothing is impossible. I might meet someone in real life in some weird unexpected way, but until that happens, why not see if it is possible to find someone online? I think it's good to keep all doors open and not to let something, not to give everything a chance. That was a little bit more about the last video because I think a lot of you misunderstood me and made me seem very desperate to find someone, which is not how I feel. I am so great at the moment. I'm actually feeling a lot better than I've felt in a long time. Also when it comes to body positivity, so if you'd like for me to film a video on that and my thoughts and my feelings at the moment and my some like um, tips to what um, you can do to feel better in your body because that's what I do like if you would like for me to do that uh, Comment down below if you have any other Like talks you'd like for me to do comment down below. I hope this one made sense It was not to be like uh, you guys are all wrong. It was just like let's just think about it and let's see everything is possible and um, Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this small rant leave a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you'd like to see my future videos and I'm going to see you guys soon with my next video. And um, yeah, bye guys. Thank you for watching.